basically a North Carolina sheriff has lost his mind. He um, apparently is trying to deflect some issues going on with the handling of the operation for the hurricane in relief. And so to deflect his own issues, he tries to point the finger at a woman who's basically doing her job as if the rules that are the federal government rules is her fault. I mean, you can't get any more stupid than this. The sheriff in Lewisburg, North Carolina, disagrees with the federal laws that require the county manager to do what she does. He doesn't agree with the law, so instead of making issue with the law as it is written, he whines that she should resign because she's trying, claiming that she's trying to add red tape or roadblock to the hurricane relief, only relief efforts in the North Carolina mountains. And it's easy to make that kind of assumption when everybody's suffering, right? And people are already angry that, the, the, you know, there's accusations from the Mayoricus um, claiming that FEMA was running out of money, which accordingly people didn't know, but they passed a bill to get more funds appropriated, but they stuck it in a bill where you have to vote on other things to pass the bill to get that money to be replenished in FEMA so that they can have long-term recovery. Yes, that's right. They withheld, they held the funds at ransom. But in meanwhile, if you do not, as a county manager, cross your T's and dot your I's, the federal government can, in fact, withhold reimbursements. And she's going to make darn sure that her county is going to get the money that they put out, especially when you have FEMA claiming that... Uh, well, you know what Mayorka said. I think it's pretty well known. But for this sheriff to make claim, pointing at the woman, I, I'm going to show you the letter. I'm going to show you the letter that she sent. Okay? Because they didn't put it on this article, MSN. Always blaming the woman. <laughs> it's the federal government that's the problem. Why do they have these rules like this? Why do they do this? And then what do they do? They blame a woman. Always blame the woman for what the federal government's doing. This is how pathetic it is. This dude is such a coward. I'm like, he is so shady. Dude, you won't pick on a woman and blame her for what the federal government is doing. You should be out there using your power and your position to advocate against the federal rules. He is so full of it. Here, here's the letter. This was written on October 3rd. It was to the department heads Alex Fuller, Ken Pike, and Jason Rogers. Subject Hurricane Helene Relief Efforts. It was archived on October 8th. He says, Dear Leadership Team, I'm writing to provide information about Franklin County's efforts to, stop, to support Hurricane Helene Relief Efforts that Franklin County may have provided or be asked to provide in the coming days, weeks, and months. If you receive a request to provide any assistance for Hurricane Helene Relief Efforts, the county manager will need to approve the request in advance of deployment, their strict reimbursement guidelines, and financial policies. These policies and forms have to be properly prepared, documented, and may be audited for Franklin County to receive reimbursement for our support activities. Franklin County has to ensure that federal, state, and local guidelines are followed in these efforts. Otherwise, the county may not be reimbursed. Again, please provide any requests to the county manager and copy assistant county manager Ryan Ray Preble, finance director Jamie Holtzman, and emergency man management director Nicholas Thorpe on the request. Please provide a timeline needed for, for a response to your request. Our Franklin County response team will evaluate the request and be in touch about the next steps. Thank you for supporting our counties in distress and for ensuring that Franklin County is properly adhering to the required guidelines for the disaster circumstance. Thank you, Kim Denton. And then her phone number. But here's the problem. Okay, you know there's a whole lot of people to be doing some shady stuff when it comes to relief. I'm a survivor of a disaster relief, and I saw firsthand people stealing from the victims, literally, I literally saw it with my own eyes, okay? And there's no problem to go with what the law is. There's no problem whatsoever. At all. This is normal. This is what they do. If you've never been through a disaster, then you probably wouldn't know. These are standard procedures. I think he's just angry because she has this authority, and he's like... But I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Oh, my gosh. Dude. 
the federal government has been given billions of dollars to foreigners coming in and invading our country. Okay? Meanwhile, they've been withholding funds for ransom for bills to be passed, which they just recently replenished FEMA. Do you think that they would not hesitate to withhold from reimbursing counties or providing relief if you if they can find anything where you didn't dot your I's and cross your T's? I'm just saying, people, you need somebody who is following the rules. Don't give no federal government no reason to deny funds. Don't even go there. And I don't know what's up with that, Sherry, but he is wrong as wrong can be. Yes, it is hard. And when people see people suffering, they just want to, like, bend the rules, do whatever you do, just get them need, get them what they need right now, whatever. But when it comes to money, oh, no, uh uh-uh. And so, they're literally trying to make her the drop party. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's the patsy because the federal government sucks. They're, they're, they're so doing the things that they're doing. And he, you know what I'm saying? The way they put this picture dead of her smiling and him over there, you know, like, help, he's the one helping people. And then, let me tell you something, okay? Did you see what the what a volunteer fireman did in the cops threatening to arrest a man who was flying in to help people? And I'm not saying it was this particular county, but I'm just saying, did you see what they did? These are the guys out there in the front, and they were blocking people from going in there to help people. Did you see? Do you have any idea how much it costs to fly a helicopter? How much fuel it takes? That man was going in there on his own dime to rescue people. And do you know, he went in there and he flew in and he rescued a woman and he was going to go back for her husband. And he was threatened to be arrested. That's national news. So now the cops are looking bad. So now he's over there looking at, like, pointing fingers at, let's go after that man. They're the ones in charge of rescue. Oh my gosh, she's just doing her job, y'all. Blame the woman. Blame the woman. Y'all, man, stop picking on people flying helicopters because they're going in there trying to rescue people, threatening to arrest them. Stop blocking the rescue efforts. Do you know how many people went public with authorities, law enforcement, blocking rescue efforts? Like, yeah, they literally tried to rescue a man using his money to fly in. And do you know how they went back and rescued that man? Oh, yeah, they went. But the, yeah, the authorities went back and rescued that guy. Do you know how they rescued him? They didn't use a chopper. They dragged him across a body of raging waters to get to him. When that man was right there with a helicopter, he could just hop up on the helicopter and be rescued. That's what they put that man through to be rescued. Like, law enforcement is doing some shady stuff. And now they're pointing the finger at this woman because she's just trying to cross the I's and, or cross the T's and dot the I's to make sure that the county gets re, that the federal government doesn't have any excuse. They're going to be audited. So the fact that she had to write that letter tells me what's going on there. What's going on? What y'all doing with the money? What's happening? Okay. I mean, there's some shady stuff going on across our country. This is just making sure, man, that the people are the ones that get the money and that the federal government doesn't have any excuse to withhold reimbursing them. And I'm just like, I want to hear her side of the story. But of course, they're not going to present that. I hope she sues him. I really do. I'm very certain that she has a valid lawsuit against this guy. So if y'all see any law enforcement, a lot of, I'm not going to, like, a lot of law enforcement, they're out there. They're the ones out there rescuing people. But I'm just saying, there's some that's doing some shady stuff. And this guy pointing the finger at her because she's just trying to make sure that the people that need the money are the ones that get the money. Okay, and it ain't being given over to people that shouldn't get it. Okay, yeah, I'm sure she has her side of the store, but they're not presenting it now, are they? That's very questionable. So, yeah, it's not bad enough our federal government's giving money over to by the billions when you know there's a cap on the amount of people that can apply for refugee status in our country, and it's in the hundreds of thousands, and they're letting them in by the millions. So they are literally taking money and giving it to foreigners who came here illegally, especially the ones who avoided the ports of entry, right? And she's going to make darn sure that the people who's supposed to get the money get some money, and he's going to call her out like this. Yeah, I'm buying this. Nope. 